Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can use M Harmonizer MB to create harmony, specifically for guitar. You could use this same method for vocals, but in this case, I'm going to do guitar because I'm Chandler Guitar. Anyways, let's get started. What I have here is I have a really basic guitar track I made very quickly, and I have a piano for the harmony. It's really basic. I didn't spend much time on it, but it's just to give you an idea of what this sounds like. Here we go. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to first add our M Harmonizer MB. So just look wherever you have it and find M Harmonizer MB and add it here. Once we have that, we're gonna use a send from this guitar track to the harmony track. So it goes into here like this. Solo it to make sure it's actually going through there. So now we have a harmonizer on there. It'll sound like this, so we have the original track, and then we have the original track with a harmonizer like this. We don't want that though. We don't want just a static harmony. What we want to do is we want a real harmonization using MIDI. Now, one way we can do this is using this harmonizer input. This is the easiest way, but I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch just because I think it's maybe useful if you want to learn how to like edit those deep parameters. So we're just going to go here to band one. And the next thing we need to do is we need to actually move this MIDI we have on the piano up here to the harmony track. So that way the plugin knows what harmony to use. So we're just going to copy and paste this. I have this on here. Go. Ah, don't do that. Copy an extra copy that I didn't need. Here we go. So now these are the harmonies. And now that we have that, we're going to set this not to granular, but to harmonizer like this. Now, if you do this, I'll play it here. It's going to sound really terrible. I'll play it so you can hear it. Every time you hear that pick attack, you hear that like glitching, especially the low uh, frequency glitching, which we don't want. So I'll show you how to get rid of that and make this sound better. What we're going to do is first for all of these low notes, we're just going to get rid of them because we don't need that. Make sure when you're doing the harmonization to try to get close to the same octave or same area as uh, what you're using the harmonization with, in this case, the guitar. So these low notes, those are just too low. It's not going to sound that good. So what we're going to do is just erase them. Let's start this again. It probably still won't sound great, but it should sound a little bit better. You shouldn't get so much of the low end uh, stuff there. Okay, still sounding bad. What we can do here is now it's on minimum latency. Since we already recorded this, I don't really care about latency. I want the highest quality here. So we're gonna turn that on. This is, should sound a little bit better, but it's not gonna fix everything. Still not sounding great. The last thing, actually not the last thing, but one of the other things we can do is Turn this keep formats, now it's at zero. We want this all the way up at 100% like this. This should make it sound significantly better. Now, this still isn't perfect, but I can kind of live with this. From here, we can adjust the sharpness, and what this will do is it'll make it brighter or darker, like this. Let's 
good. And sometimes when I do this, I like to check it with the dry signal in here. I solo this just so you could hear it a little bit more easily. But sometimes the things that are bothering me, I'm like, ah, oh, geez, this doesn't sound so good. When you mix it in with the dry signal, it actually sounds all right. So let's hear it now, dry and wet mixed together. I can kind of live with that. There's other things I might want to do, like adjust the formant here. This will make it darker or brighter also. Sometimes that makes it sound better. Sometimes it makes it sound worse. You can also adjust the tuning. Sometimes you want the tuning there because it'll kind of even out the pitch, but in this case with the guitar, I don't because it'll kind of mess with my vibrato. So I like to turn that at zero. Now let's hear everything together and we can adjust the volume here if it's too loud or too soft. <laughs> Now from there, there's all sorts of things you can do with this. Uh, I might want to EQ it so you can adjust things more. So sometimes you're like, oh, I want it a little bit brighter. Sometimes you think, ah, too bright, it sounds a little bit artificial. I might want it darker or whatever. Another thing I probably might want to do is add some stereo. So I'll use M Double Tracker. Let's set it to the electric guitar. I'll let you hear how this sounds with everything together. Ooh. Turn it on and off. I think it's probably bringing it a little bit too far out of tune, so I might want to turn the detuning down a little bit. But of course, set that however you want. And then, of course, I would send it into my reverb here. Maybe not too much, but let's try this. <laughs> And there you go. Of course, you can you know, adjust how loud it is, how soft it is. Another thing you can do is you can go in here and edit the MIDI if you want. So if I think, ah, you know what, I don't want it playing the whole time, what I can do is just shorten some of the notes like this. So it's not playing the whole time, just playing part of the time. See if I can give you an idea how this works like this. There you go. There's lots of other things you could do with this, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can harmonize things easily. Another thing this is good for, even if you don't want to use this for the final project, I find sometimes this is useful just so you can hear how the harmonies actually sound. So I wouldn't want to, you know, record these three different guitar lines here because I'm like, ah, you know what? Actually, this doesn't sound good. And I spent, you know, uh, an hour recording you know four different guitar lines or three different guitar lines that don't sound good in the end this way you can just use this midi and find out what sounds pretty good and then if you're like oh you know what i actually want to do a real uh, harmony and record it now you actually know what the arrangement sounds like and if it's going to sound good or not so you know this can be a helpful shortcut for that
Hope I gave you some ideas of what you can do with this. Of course, try this with the other instruments. But uh, if you have any questions, leave those down below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.